Welcome back guys to No Limit Drag Racing 2.0. It's been a while since I did a commentary style video, but I thought it best to do it here because I'm going to do a tutorial on transmission tuning in this game. Now you can actually use this tutorial for pretty much any racing game that has transmission tuning available, but there are a few slight differences in this game like the computer tuning section and the dyno which we can use to help us uh, get well find the best gear ratios quicker so um first things first is the car i've got here it is the 5.7 mustang i released a few days ago for update 1.2.3 i believe so um max power upgrades all the engine options maxed out so it is highest horsepower possible and what i've done is i've set the transmission and the computer sections back to the default you get in this game when you buy a stock car that way I'm going to go through how I find the right gears for you um, in this video so you can follow along it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it so um let's get right into it now the first thing you actually want to do is head on over to the computer section now this is what you're going to get as stock in this game and the key one here is limiter rpm it's pretty much what it says on the tin it's the maximum rpm that the game's going to let your engine rev to. Now, in real life, you might want that to stop yourself like damaging the engine by over revving it, for example, but this is a game, so that's not really relevant. And what we're going to do is just set that all the way to 10,000. You can pretty much do it for every car in this game because, as I said, it doesn't matter if you over rev an engine in a game because it's not going to make any difference. And um, even if a car you're only wanting to shift at like 5,500 RPM, like it is stock here. It doesn't matter if you max the shift, the, not the shift, limiter RPM because you're not going to reach that RPM anyway. So just set that to 10,000 for every car. It doesn't really make any difference to be honest. Then go over to Dyno. Quickly going to show the graph here of what you're going to get. So on the Y axis on the left you're going to get horsepower and torque. And on the bottom of the graph you can see there is RPM. So you're going to get two lines, one for horsepower, one for torque, and it's going to show you the amount of power and torque you're making at each different RPM. This is going to be useful because you're going to be able to see at what RPM you're making maximum power and torque. You're also going to see over what RPM range you're in the power band, so you're close to that maximum power and torque value. So what we'll do here is run the car. Now, I know this costs gold in the game, so you might not be able to do it if you don't have any gold. It's not needed you can figure out the gears without it but it's just helpful to uh have this now as i said before this is a max power setup so if you've also got a max power setup you're going to get the same um graph as i've got here so you don't need to run it yourself you can just have a look at this one so as you can see from like the pinky red line that's horsepower maximum horsepower is at 8950 rpm as you can see from the left and it flattens out from about, I'd say, 8,000 to 10,000 RPM. So you can see from the top of the graph near that dot, it kind of flattens out. So that's the region we want to uh, keep the car in throughout the run. So about 8,000, 10,000 RPM, as I said. Then for torque, it's not as important. You want to be closer to the torque, maximum torque, in the lower gears, like first and second, for example because that's when you need the torque off the line, and uh, it flattens out from about 6,000 to 8,000, but as I said, you want to focus mainly on the horsepower value. So uh, make note of those maximum horsepower and torque RPMs, 8, 9, 50, and 7,000, and now we'll move on to actually trying to set up the uh, gears. Now, moving on to actually trying to find the right gear ratios for your setup, the first thing I like to do is just run the car with the default gear ratios and there's a couple of things you want to make a note of first thing you want to check if it spins or bogs down in first gear and the other thing you want to make a note of is the top speed you reach at the end of the drag strip so we'll just run the car now tire temp you want about 124 125 i found for like best launch in this game so as i said just see if it spins or bogs down in first gear or not right spun the wheels there and top speed looked about yeah one two thirty four for the top speed first gear spun the wheels 
So what we want to do with that is head on over to transmission and I'll quickly go over what everything is doing here because it may look complicated to start with but I assure you it's pretty easy. So on the left we've got a graph, on the uh, y axis it shows RPM so 90 because it's times 100 is 9000 RPM for example. Then at the top you can see those numbers above the green lines, that's the uh, maximum speed you can reach in each gear. So the green lines are the gears from left to right, first to sixth. So for example, you can see sixth gear is currently topping out at 395 miles per hour, which is obviously nowhere near what you want because you can't go that quick in this game. And then uh, as for the numbers on the right, these are the individual gear ratios. So what the slide is going to do, if you look at the graph and on the right, so if I move sixth gear, for example, if I move it to the right, it's going to make the gear shorter, so it goes to a lower RPM, it's now 338 miles per hour as you can see. And then if you move it to the left, it's the opposite, so it's going to make the gear longer, so now 423 miles per hour. So that applies to all of them, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. And then final drive, what that does is it does the same thing, but it does it to every single gear at once. So if you look at the graph as well now, if I move final drive to the right and make all the gears shorter, you'll see every gear on the graph reaches a uh, lower max mile per hour speed and then vice versa if I go the other way and make the gear longer so that's how that works and final drive isn't too important in this you can really just leave it at default I tend to just put it in the middle at like let's just go 2.5 because that allows you to cover pretty much every different gear range so um, first thing you want to do is set, we saw that the top speed was about 234 miles per hour. Now because the gears aren't set up properly, we're obviously going to go faster than that with the correct gears. So add about 10 miles per hour to the speed you got there and then set 6th gear to that speed. So we got 234, set 6th gear to 244. Now you may need to move all the other gears along because you can't have a higher gear shorter than the gear before let's move that sixth go to 245 there and now we can move the graph in and first gear I can't quite remember what it was set to with the other final drive we'll just go for about 85 at the moment is pretty much trial and error this you need to keep trying different first gears until you get one that is as short as possible so the mile per hour speed is as low as possible without it spinning that's what you want to try and aim for so uh, now i've got six set what we want to try and do is you want each gear slightly shorter than the gear that came before it so the graph's going to end up with like a curve curve going up i'll try and annotate it on the screen now to try and make it easier to understand so i'll just quickly try and lay these gears out so you can see what i mean that's a bit too much there. Let's move. Okay, that's a decent starting point. So if you see, if you look at the bottom of each of the green lines, that's the uh, where you're going to start in each gear once you've changed from the gear before. You can see it curves up. So you want each gear slightly shorter than the one before because you're going to be in the higher gears for a longer amount of time. So you want to be closer to the power band in the higher gears and do the lower ones. Because for example, second gear, you're only going to be in second for let's say one second, for example. You're going to be in sixth gear for three seconds. So it's more beneficial to be closer to the um, peak power in sixth gear than it is through the whole of second gear. So that's why you can see second gear goes from about 7,000 RPM all the way up to the max of 10,000. Whereas sixth gear on here is about, I'd say, 8,500 to 10, which is closer to that peak power we had before. So we'll give those gears a try now. It should be a lot better. I can't actually remember what time we got before, but it should be quicker. So same 124 on the tire temp. There you go, you can see first gear grip there. It might have bogged down a bit too much, but it seemed decent. 
as you can see we were maxed out in sick gear and they're like a 5.812 already which is pretty good time to be honest so one thing now it's just about trial and error trying to find the best gears by making slight adjustments so first gear there I think it may have bogged down a bit too much so we could go a bit shorter but obviously you're going to need to keep trying so it's currently set to 85 miles an hour we can move it along a bit maybe down to 84 and you can give that a go another thing here is you can always try I'm going to make second a bit shorter so the curve on the graph isn't as steep because at the moment I think second gear might be out of the power band a bit too much so it's all about just trying to get that kind of pattern on the graph you can see that's when you know the gears are right except there are maybe an exception if you're doing like a short shift tune to second gear or you might want second line to be a bit shorter than the third line but you don't really want that in this game it's better to just have the uh, graph like it is now so that's the uh, the basics as I said it is just trial and error from this point trying to get the right first gear which is most important and then just get each gear gradually shorter than the one before and you should be set pretty much sixth gear as I said just make it so you're right at the top end of sixth gear when you uh, reach the end of the drag strip 245 now uh, one last thing to note computer section is the shift light RPM you don't actually need this but um, what you're gonna want to do this is the point where you want to shift gear so for example, if we were to shift gear at 4000 RPM, we'd be shifting gear way too early, so we'd be out of the power band. In general, I've found the best point is about 9600 RPM. That way, we're shifting pretty much towards the end of the point where we're making maximum power. And then when we're into the next gear, it's going to start at the uh, point where we start producing maximum power, if that made any sense at all. So um, that's what I like to go with, just set it to 96 RPM to start with, that's pretty much starting point for a max power build in this game. So uh, that's all of that to be honest, hopefully you uh, understood some of it at least. If you've got any questions about it, make sure to comment them below and I'll try and answer all of them. And uh, make sure to leave a like on the video if you found this helpful and subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you next time.